I think that you were mocking his stutter. No yeah, Biden. I think you were mocking his stutter, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose wow. somebody's cognitive decline. I want to ask you a couple things about about things that you've you've done on the campaign trail. Joe Biden, as we all know, has worked to overcome a stutter. Uh, and one of the speakers at the Democratic convention was a, a young boy who the vice president inspired named Braden Harrington. Uh, take a listen. It was really amazing to hear that someone like me became vice president. Braden Harrington, a very brave young boy. You made this comment earlier in the campaign about Joe Biden. Let's take a listen to that. Every time he comes on stage or they turn to him, I'm like, Joe, can you get it out? Let's get the words out, Joe. You kind of feel bad for him. How do you think it makes little kids with stutters feel when they see you make a comment like that? Uh, first and foremost, I had no idea that Joe Biden ever suffered from a stutter. I think what we see on stage with Joe Biden, Jake, is very clearly a cognitive decline. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. It makes me uncomfortable you have, you have to no watch somebody ab- on you have, stage I can't, for so amazing. It's so amazing to me and, that, and, that... And try and figure out an answer. A cognitive decline. Well, when you're trying you, to tell you, me that what I was suggesting was I a stuttering... I think that you were mocking his stutter. Idea, yeah, I think you were mocking his stutter. Well, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose wow. somebody's cognitive decline. I would think... That somebody in the Trump family would be more sensitive to people who do do not have medical licenses diagnosing politicians from afar. Plenty of people have diagnosed your father from afar, and I'm sure it offends you. Your father-in-law from afar, I'm sure it offends you. You don't have any standing to say. Diagnosing him. What I'm saying, Jake, you just talked about a cognitive decline. That Joe I, Biden I, I, is I have one last question for you, Laura. You can't. You, times on stage, and it's very concerning to a lot of people that this could be the leader of the free world. Okay. That is all I'm saying. I genuinely Thank you, feel Laura sorry Trump. for Joe Biden. At I appreciate it. I'm sure it was from a place of concern. We all we all believe that, Laura Trump. Thank you so much. Who are the people that run the world? It's not some shadowy secret society. It's the very people you'd think. Politicians, the ultra-rich, military contractors, monarchs, media moguls. Hi, I'm Sean Morrow, the host of Who Is the Podcast, the first podcast from Now This and iHeartRadio. On Who Is, I'll dive deep into the fascinating lives of the people who run things, those whose decisions impact every aspect of our lives. How did they get where they are today? And knowing that, what might they do next? How do they use all this power they've accumulated? From Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi to Chief Justice John Roberts and whatever it is Jared Kushner does, on Who Is, I'll introduce you to the reporters and experts who know these real-life world molders best, sharp-eyed observers and confidants who work with, follow, and examine our subjects every day. For more, hit the link below or search Who Is on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, don't forget to hit up the Who Is Snapchat, YouTube, and Facebook pages for the series playlist to check out all the video episodes you may have missed.